All right, we're rolling once again. Uh, really would like to get this line done today, getting a late start because had to go bow hunting this morning. But it's it's nice. It's 35 degrees. It is beautiful outside. So there's a nice culvert down in there. Uh, we got this phenomenal trail coming up to this corn here. I want to get this DP down here in the mouth of this culvert. And then we're going to throw a 220 in on the other side. So I just got my hat full of burrs. That's a great way to start the day. We'll hustle over here to the other side. You guys can see all this thick vegetation down here. Perfect for a 220. Grab ourselves a 220 and look at the trail coming over there too. Man, oh man. Get down in here. I don't know if you guys will be able to pick it up or not. There's a, just a perfect funnel trail going right through here. So great spot. Uh, big timber draw going to a cornfield behind me so you will get this baby plugged in there and we are down the road had another spot here that's actually a culvert going to beans this year but there's also corn about 100 yards away from it so i will set bean to bean or timber to bean culverts uh, especially if there's corn right next to it like that so we'll still use these low spots to travel Plus, this is just a spot that is good every year. I know that from several years of trapping this. So, you guys can see this trail just beat down through this mowed green grass. So, get our DP plugged in here by the tube and we'll get out of here. Getting another pair ready to roll. Another timber to corn location. Uh, it's all just the same stuff over and over and over, guys timber to corn or timber to timber and a lot of culverts so uh, this spot actually this trail isn't on the culvert this is a, a trail that follows the edge of this timber so we will get over here you guys can see this trail she sticks out pretty good now my dps are all tangled up <clears throat> man i'm glad we got that rain or this would have sucked they're going in smooth as butter get another one planked in here and we'll be getting out of here guys all right so i was just rambling at that last stop about how that trail isn't the isn't the culvert trail in here now i'm at the culvert spot <laughs> it's always a good one every year i'm pretty anxious to get down there and see what it's looking like i'm sure it's phenomenal i know it looked pretty good when i mapped it but so this is about 40 yards from where we just were on that really good trail oh yeah beat to a pulp running down the this high bank trail here or not high bank trail but trail going up over the tube if i can get this pogo to go in up here somewhere that'd be nice there we go must have been a rock over there or something. It went in smooth it ain't right there. Get down here. There's that big ball of twine. I'm sure that's gonna make a mess at some point. But for now, another pair thrown in. Got us another good trail here. Uh, I'm really glad that I had time to map out this Thanksgiving line this year. I picked up a lot of locations that normally I'd miss because I'm trying to go too fast and just get traps in the ground, set traps. And this year I had the time and this is a trail I've never trapped before, but they got it beat down right through there. Uh, there's another little fainter one over here too. Uh, and then there's another one over here. So we're gonna set the best, best out of all of them. And uh, this is the only one that's got it actually plowed through the mowed grass so this is going to be the one that we're going with uh, the other two are pretty faint they actually look like they're getting fainter but we'll get out of here all right guys story time uh, so i had a guy who was kind of watching me and i seen he was standing in his driveway so i stopped to talk to him 
And basically the conversation started out, blah, 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 I'm gonna pull your traps. My cats disappeared last year. And so I'm like, well, I'm using dog proofs only, sir. Just kind of don't match their energy. Uh, it's kind of the, the point of my message here. Just be calm about it. Um, I, I just told him, I was like, this is all I'm running is dog proofs. Um, I set one to show them that they're pull only, so cats are very rare to catch in them. Um, not impossible, and I told him that it's not impossible, but I showed him exactly how hard you can push on that trigger and it won't go off, and I pulled it and snapped it right off on my finger. Um, showed him that very unlikely I'm going to get his cats. Um, kind of de-escalated the situation a lot, and I think we're going to be all right. So, And he also, I asked him, because he said, well, my cats disappeared during trapping season. I'm like, okay, well, did you ever see them in any of my dog proofs? Because I trap along this road all, all over by his house. He said, well, no, I never seen them in a dog proof. And I was like, well, there you go. So, glad you got that situation handled. Uh, really nice guy. You just, you can't go up there and if they're mad, just start yelling back at them. Uh, just be calm and professional about it. And things can go a lot better than they could have if I would have been real mad. So, anyways, guys, we'll be getting down the road. Oh, I tell you guys what, these farmers drive me nuts sometimes with tearing stuff out every single year. Well, this is always one of my favorite spots every single year. There's a huge den tree here. Uh, and they're always running through this tube, going down to a creek bottom. And as you guys can see, all that's left is a big stump. So they took my old faithful den tree down. It looks like they might still be going through here. So we're going to try it out, but every year I lose, seems like a couple spots up to about half a dozen spots a year from farmers uh, ripping stuff out. So it's frustrating, but we'll keep moving on. All righty. If I can get my stuff figured out here, we're at a bridge we're about to dive underneath of. Get my driver. Uh, I see that the beavers got this thing dammed up a lot. So, probably not setting the water's edge on this one. But, they're normally a pretty good high bank trail going through here. Let's see if we can search it out or not. Heck, even the high bank trail might be underwater with how much they got this sucker dammed up. I caught four or five beaver out of here this spring. Apparently, it didn't affect them much. Uh, yeah, you guys can see that. Uh, that's the most water I've ever seen in this creek, so it's pretty crazy. Uh, oh, no, we'll sit on the water's edge down in here. Big beaver tracks in here, too. And suckers. Might have to get them, too, while we go through. What do you guys think? Probably have to, have to try. Probably the smart ones that avoided me. Probably what's in here. So it'd probably be a little tricky to catch. But normally I can walk across, across this without getting my knees wet. Uh, kind of some perspective on how high they got this. That sucker's chest deep at least. So there we go, guys. Two DPs plinked in. Uh, we'll be getting down the road here. Line's looking good. Man, them beavers got that sucker dammed up. That's crazy. All righty. Let's head down another ditch with a pair of 220s. Oh, if I remember right, there's a hole in here somewhere. and Got to try and avoid that. Oh, it's over there. Okay. I just remember one year, that hole was buried in snow. And I biffed her pretty good. Wow, they got a beat down path coming through there. Holy cow. Good thing I marked this one for two. Put that up there for now. Toss my 220 underneath all that brush. Uh, we got to be five foot from the fence, so that makes this spot a little difficult to get a pair into, but we'll do what we can. It's not going to be ideal. I'm going to have to stake them off a little different, I think. You guys can see that fence is right there, and we got to be five foot from it. Driver's about three foot, so it's going to have to be right, right in here somewhere. On what I'm going to do... I'm going to stake it off a different way so that if I catch one, hopefully it gets the heck out of the way of the other one. 
we'll see how it goes. Only had one in here last year and I felt like it didn't do the spot justice, so. We'll get this other one put in. There we go. Hopefully I don't fall in this hole. You guys missed the last location. I had to walk through a bunch of thorn bushes. But we'll be getting out of here, guys. All right, I might biff it. Not yet. Man, this culvert looks really good this year, too. They got corn behind them this year, so they're looking a little better. Uh, but they are timber to timber, so they're good every year. Quite a mud path going up there. So it used to be a great 220 spot, but they put in a new house. So can't do that anymore here unfortunately but we'll still plank in a good old dp all righty let's go under a bridge shall we this is one of my i know i keep saying that all the time too this is one of my favorite spots it's one of my favorite spots <laughs> i love all of them though well almost all of them but this is a spot last year i talked about i had a box sitting right over there i talked about how i trap it multiple times a year just a fantastic spot. Uh, I used to catch catch a mink or two out of this creek every year, but there's hardly any water in it anymore. So we'll just stick with DPs. Put one in there. I normally, and I don't want to jinx it, but normally this bridge is a, a double catching machine. So we will see. But we got our two in there. And I love climbing out of here. <laughs> it's a steep one. But we will start our climb. Alrighty. I'm gonna be throwing a pair of 220s down in this here culvert. Uh, I gotta remember the best way to get down here. I believe it was this way. Hopefully it was this way. But there was this. Oh yeah, it's still there too. It's a perfect funnel going through the grass here, so that's what we'll be setting here. And it's gonna get a get a pair. Pop that one 220 in there. <sighs> Stick that muskrat stretcher through the trap. And guys, if I'm doing two, I always like to just set the pogo out to the side for the other one. Um, and then I'll get it when I come back through. I'm going to stake that down here in a second. So I just like to have my hands free when I'm pushing pogos. Personal preference is all, but we get this anchor ran in over here. Oh, that's hard. There's one. And then, like I said, come back through, lay that cable on top of the grass so you can find it. Oh, she slipped. I got a whole bunch of sand stuck in my driver so that ain't helping much but get that baby pushed in there and i like it let's get out of here heading down another old little bridge <clears throat> wow someone dumped a ton of walnuts down here that's really odd <laughs> oh well wow this bridge changed quite a bit since last year it's kind of interesting uh, normally the channel went through here that's really weird don't know why I did that, but always a good bridge for a pair of DPs. Oh, I love these little, this is what I'd call my trickle cricks, guys. I talk about them all the time. Very, very deadly sets for DPs on these trickle cricks. Now I got to avoid all these daggum stickers. I always love to get one in over here as well. You can see where they're getting out of the water right there. Um, and walking up there so some minnows in here swimming around still Let's see if we can get her in there yeah there we go right in the middle of them coon tracks another spot state guys we're moving on oh no guys we're down to one toe to dp's left man been pre-staking hard this is location one 51 so this line let's see i think last year my thanksgiving line total was about 150 and we still got 120 stops left so gonna be gonna be a big one gonna be a good season 
Chloe, I don't like that it's getting windy. It's probably just because I turned the camera on. Seems to be how it goes. But got this nice trail coming off this telephone pole. Uh, it's the edge of a timber going to a cornfield. I'm actually doing one on both sides here. Oh, uh, this trail's pretty, pretty phenomenal. So if they got it down to the mud and green grass, you know they're using it pretty good. So here's the other side here. Throw a DP in there. And we are down the road. All righty. We are gonna throw us some 220s in here. You know, I'll probably just walk by where one of them's gonna go. I know one of them's gonna go down in that tunnel right there. So that other one's gonna go up top there somewhere. Just a little trickle of water coming out of that tile. Not much. Um, let's see. I'm actually gonna wanna set this on the other side so I can stake it so they can flop out of the trail. Now I got weeds in my face. It's always nice. Get that in there. Come up here to this other one. I'm gonna go right in this gap here where they're hugging that wall. Get this 220 set there. Not set, just setting it down. Get this pogo driven in here. Ugh. We're out of here. All right, we are back in the first shed. Uh, I'm going bow hunting this afternoon, so not pre staking anymore today, but we're up to 210 locations done on that line. So we're moving right along. There's only like 60 locations left, and I can get that done in a couple hours tomorrow. So no big deal. We'll get her done tomorrow, but it's a good size line. Last year, I said earlier, last year is about 150 locations, and we're over 200 already. And we're still going on it, so hopefully we can really stack some coon up on it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and until tomorrow. I'll probably film tomorrow, too. So, Anyways, y'all, thanks.